Greetings, YouTube. Kudos here, and let's continue being Hungary in World War II. Where we last left off, we were hoping that the China and the Raj Wars would end, and we've made some nice African progress. Let's continue doing all of those things. For it is glorious. Anti-tank upgrade has finished. Oh, we have another tech that also finished. Improved anti-tank it is. You finished whatever it is that you were finishing, probably in boats. Yeah, let's go with sub three, sure. Research all the boats. Um. Okay. Ooh, uh, modify government. Sure. Air combat training. Cavalry. Cavalry. Ground support. Air combat training specialist or ground support. Well, considering I don't really use my boats much. That's kind of useless. Uh, ship designer? Yeah, okay. I'll get a ship designer because I'm researching boats anyway. It makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. I see the manpower going up and then down. Um, you're not going anywhere. I have arrived and so they've decided to pad this front. Sadly. Um, but very soon this will just collapse entirely. It is inevitable. It is simply inevitable. Um, yeah, this giant UK army down here on the Arabian Peninsula is annoying. Um, See that our attempt at making progress is bearing fruit, which is nice. Um, hmm. Did I take that? I didn't take that myself. My AI did. Hmm. This is excellent. Uh, I do wish that these guys would push down further. They're almost past the desert. I understand their reluctance to invading the desert, because it's garbage. But once you're past the desert, life is good. It's all about getting past the desert. And by good, I mean not as shitty. Where are you guys even going? These armies are spreading themselves back out to other parts of the front. Hey, Western Balkans, naval invasion. I have one guy, he's ready. He is ready to show them what's what. Republic of Guatemala has capitulated. Great news. Wait, really? Hold on, I, I completely forgot about the American continent last episode. That's, uh... Interesting. Oh, but the uh, Synarchist Mexico is about to die. If only we would be sending troops over there to help. Nope, Mexico is about to uh, collapse. Is Brazil on our side? He is not, but I am boosting him. Uh, Venezuela is in our faction and is helping us, so that's nice. Yeah, he's conquered all this random crap. Maybe he will help Mexico. Um, Colombia probably needs to be attacked. We'll see what we can get after that. If we can get Venezuela and Brazil, we might be able to just start attacking these random South American provinces and then, like, Push north and by we attack, I mean like just big justifications. Well, we'll start with a path that leads to the United States. That way we'll keep a presence up here. More tech that finished, I can prove anti air, sure. Not that I build any of these, but good old science. Oh, I think I saw the star move. Maybe it's just because I was zooming in and out. Damn it. I was hoping. Um, 
The African Front is advancing slowly, but it is advancing. Which is really nice to see. Uh, enemy stronger. Forces roughly equal. Alright. Sounds good to me. We're not gonna move. And this is... Oh, we've taken Beijing. Nice! Nice! Good job, guys. Good job. Now, if only Japan would help his poor friends in Arches, Mexico against the United States, which he declared war on, I might add. Uh, yeah, the United States are terrifyingly strong. But we knew that already. Didn't expect Mexico to hold off their own against the United States, I just didn't want them to die in a fast and pitiful way. I was hoping that uh, some of, you know, Spain or Germany or something would send support, would go land troops here to bring fight to North America. This is not what is happening. And somehow this is surviving the uh, advancing Venezuelan forces. Which is unfortunate. I really hope these troops die. There's Americans in there. And Canadian troops. No, that's the Beer Liberia in Canada. And there's the United Kingdom and Siam. Anyway, I hope they die. I think they started dying. No, the number got bigger. What? What's going on? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, now it's smaller again. What's going on? I guess there's a troop that appeared and then a troop that died or something. Um. Hey, Liberia. You are... Fully democratic, but I think you're like a puppet. Are you? Yeah, you have expeditionary forces, which means you're not just... Not at war with us, but uh, you're there. Okay, good. Getting past the desert seems to have made advancing down here a lot easier. China has become a tiny sandwich. And there's not troops everywhere on that front, so so much for my troops being here. Although that said, I can take this province. And there is no one who will say anything about it. And if they do, I will lose one of these armies. It will die a horrible, horrible death. It's completely unable to attack. It was set back to uh, defend. Because it just couldn't keep up an attack with no organization, no troops, nothing. It just is. It can't do anything. It is, but cannot do. It sounds almost philosophical. Alright. Um... Hmm... What else can we do? Our unfulfilled import requests are just getting worse and worse, I feel. Like, come on guys, can we trade? Is Spain in there somewhere? Uh, they are, but they have no steel. Hmm. There is just no way for us to get steel at this point. Especially because Germany has closed trade. Um, I wonder if like Germany probably doesn't use all of their resources. It just can't happen. If I look at the very bottom, yeah, Germany is in closed. Oh no, that's the thing. These guys are all closed economies. What's the bonus for closed economy? Like, what's the point of doing that? You don't get civilian factories back from trading. Um, factory output, construction speed, research time. We research faster by being exporting. Closed economy, no resources will be exported, so I keep all of my resources. If I went to um, trade, I am currently exporting 32 steel, but importing 69. So if I closed my economy, I would actually gain 
32 steel. Hmm. Hmm. That may be tempting, but... I have a surplus of chromium that I don't need. I need more rubber, and I'm just not getting any. Um... I'm importing way too much tungsten. Um... Hello, uh... Portugal. Let's see, I have a surplus of 52. That should do, right? Surplus of 12 tungsten. I've regained some factories. Hey, Sweden. Need one less. Okay, that seems good to me. Good. Good. This is not important chromium. Hmm. And now for construction, we should have more factories. Yes! We have regained factories, and we have military factories that are bored. Build more motorized. Okay. Hmm. I'm building a convoy a month. That might take a while. Improved anti tank. Nice! Not really useless, but uh, let's go with that. How are you still holding on at this point? I feel like these attacks just stagnated. Did my armies take control of this? They did. I think. Let's keep it up. This guy is encircled. He's probably dead. And I don't need to do anything about it. He's just dead. So that's good. I um, feel like I'm going too far deep, but if I can force China to respect another part of the environment, that would be easier. That would make attacking that side on that side much easier. Okay, Beijing is ours. How close does that bring China? Oh wow, 99% towards capitulations. They're about to capitulate. We're about to see China disappear. And that will not happen too soon. Hello, Hong Kong. You are uh, owned by the Union of Britain. Nice! You exist again. But you're communist. But you've joined our uh, faction. Why not? I did eliminate the entire communist menace. Um, why is there? Belong to an army but has no orders assigned. That's fine. That is totally fine. Um. Okay, the China War will end any day now. Right? Right? There's no victory points here, right? Uh, that's a lot of British troops that are encircled. Beautiful encirclement, Germany. Um, hmm. Okay. Our plan had worked to help encircle China and make Germany, you know, open up more fronts, but at the same time, there's no effort being made to push disadvantage. It makes me kind of sad. Okay, this, we'll cut them off here. There's a victory point here. On the lay. I'm gonna avoid their troops and just try to reach uh, a Chinese victory point. If I can get to Yunnan, that'd be great. Strategic bomber has finished. I can get more planes. Let's get the regular bombers. 
that are not sufficiently strategic. Um, okay, you've managed to take that, that's good. Uh, can I cut here? Maybe. I shall try. Um, my goal is Dali. Or wasn't it Yunnan? Yeah, that is a location in Yunnan. But it said Dali for some reason. Yeah, the city is Dali. Okay, that makes sense. That is what I saw. We've made a giant funny wedge here. Research. Improved anti-air upgrade, sure. <sighs> We've helped take provinces off the Raj. Good, good. Come on, China, capitulate faster. Once you capitulate, all these troops become dead meat. Arguably, they already are, but... Uh... Hmm. What else can we do? What else can we do? Um... The drop on the Western Balkans never happened. Where's the Western Balkans? Is it here? Or is it... No, oh, that's Eastern Balkans. The Western Balkans is here. I'm gonna go pretend protect my port. I have a free factory that's bored. Nice, how about you build me some more... Let's make another advanced artillery line. Let's place it with the first one, for now. One at a time. Cut. That seems good to me. That way, we're gonna double our artillery generation eventually if we get more factories. Uh, constructions. Can I build more? Not their factories. No, I've run out of space to build them in. Unfortunate. But understandable. Um, good. Now these we're they're trying so hard to take these troops and kill them. But it's gonna be difficult. It certainly is gonna be difficult. Um, the front's not moving anywhere anymore. We're so close to the capitulation of China, though. So close. Here, maybe? I force them to spread out into a line if they want to keep defending everything. That's a fantastic idea. It's not, we don't have the punching power, but we can still do some like fun maneuvers. So we're going to explore that potential. Whew. And this army, which has no stats, nothing, I'll send it back to Hungary. Maybe that way it'll be able to replenish. Can I just uh, unassign it from the command army? There we go. Alright. Now you are your own army. Okay. Keep taking land. Force Germany to... Uh, do some more useful things with his troops. Like advance! We are helping the advance. One random shitty province at a time. Walk faster, guy. Oh crap, we ran into a guy. Oh, we killed it. That was fairly straightforward. Now we're still trying to circumvent this giant wall to get to Yunnan. Oh hey, you're attacking me across the river. Not a smart move. Which is why I'm also doing it. Hopefully it will not take too long. And hopefully you're not going to get surrounded. Come on, Germany. Take this land faster. Um, I wonder, though. 
Yeah, it's taking so long to cross that stupid river. And we're past! Are we? Come on, we're past. Yes, we're past. And we apparently uh, successfully acquired this location and are defending it, so we have a river crossed. Come help reinforce this crossing. Um, yeah, and if only the AI would take these provinces while he's at it. There's no one in them. Um, I'm going to wait Germany comes sits on me. And then I'm going to keep moving. Towards the victory point to make China capitulate. Realistically, they should have capitulated bef way before I get to actually... I can even aim for uh, Kunming. But uh, realistically, by the time I get there, China will have capitulated. But in the event that they haven't, it will try to get there. Hmm. Submarine 3, nice. More boats. We've mastered the art of boats that sink. Now we can start looking at boats that don't sink. Okay, these guys are positioning themselves. Your organization is terrible. It is not recovering well. Because I'm out of supply. That's unfortunate. Um, okay, then let's try to make a uh, nicer controlled chunk here. Uh, take over these provinces that no one is in them. Like this. Actually. Maybe even like this. We'll see, maybe we'll run into troops in the process of doing that, but until we do... It's gonna be a fantastic goal. Hey, there's a victory point here, Mandalay. Um, there's still nothing moving. I feel like this province has moved, like they've moved a little forward, maybe? We still don't touch France, which is sad. There's a victory point we've taken here. Um, okay, yeah, they finally managed to break through these armies, and now there's a giant stack of isolated troops. Maybe they're being evacuated. I think they're being evacuated by Britain. Um, is there a naval battle? I don't see one. Okay. How are you doing? What is this building? I don't know. Oh, it says click to drop nuclear bomb. Now, improved anti-tank upgrade one. I cannot nuke here because I don't have the air superiority and I don't have a strat bomber in range. Right, I wanted to figure that out like a few episodes ago. Let's try to do that while we wait. Hey, Calais, can I uh, create a new air wing? I have strat bombers. I'll assign all of them. Alright. Not enough surface manpower. Oh, yeah, that's the problem. Right. Okay, so I'm not gonna be able to make planes, which means I'm not gonna be able to have fun with bombing shit. Um. Carrier is arriving, and I believe I was researching stuff in here, yep. Look at this. And now, free military factories that shall be spent on advanced artilleries. Yes. Now, oh, there's a battle. Am I involved in this battle? I am not, but I took a province. And keep taking provinces like this. And create a nice little German wedge in here. <sighs> I 
But we're still not making any progress on the China front. Damn it. Who does this belong to? Aru... Arunachal Pradesh. That's part of the Thunder Dragon Empire! Yeah! Represent! Okay, you're not able to replenish yourself right now. At all, because you're out of supply. Hopefully after this conquest, you will be fine on supply for a little bit. Then Germany can thank me later for uh, putting up more fronts for them. Maybe I'm not actually helping. Maybe he's also out of manpower and things are really going bad for him. But if that's the case, then everyone is out of manpower. Aside from, like, the United States. Hey, there's a United Kingdom provinces here. It's an archist Mexico is being divided up. Oh, and Venezuela finally managed to take that. Cool. Is Colombia being uh, Hungary? No. But uh, Republic of Peru is. Good. There's a plurinational Bolivia. Republic of Paraguay. Argentina is being uh, fascistified as well. Chile? Maybe I should work on Chile. Oh, I am working on Chile. Good! Nice. Excellent. Hopefully the sound is not derp for you guys, because I think I just moved and the sound is weird in my headphones. So let me know if the sound just broke for you guys. I hope it didn't. I really, really hope it didn't. I hope you guys can still hear me and I'm just not scrolling the map around randomly. I'm gonna assume you guys can still hear me. Because otherwise, there's not much I can do. Um, this was connected as we intended. Conquer this, and then I want you guys to regain supply. Oh, hey, your organization is uh, somehow going up. It somehow went up again. Maybe you were able to retrieve supply. Your manpower seems to be going up. Research, research. Um, research the fist into the sky. Yeah. The sky fist is being researched. Okay. Now this is done. We'll have pushed a bit more down here in the British Raj. No real progress is being made to conquer it properly, which is annoying. Okay, we're gonna come try to take this again, while no one is uh, sitting on it, while no one's looking. <laughs> now we're supposed to have made a much bigger front, but no one is making use of it. More factories can be assigned to making advanced artilleries. Our needs are now filled, which means I can send this line to the very bottom. Um. What else do we got? Okay, how's your manpower? You're at 83% of manpower. You're actually replenishing yourself somewhat. Ah, I want China to capitulate. I want this uh, to end. Oh, well, they've managed to uh, severely reduce the number of troops here, which is a good thing. Uh, but I'm starting to not believe in my manpower. Uh, oh yeah, while I'm here, I might as well look at Africa. How's Africa doing? We're apparently attacking. I feel like we've pushed further down. I f really feel like we have. I really hope that we have. Actually, I really think we did. Yeah, Italy is coming out a bit more from here from its old Ethiopian holdings. Um, I feel like this has now become a stalemate against like the UK's giant army that's parked here. And um, yeah, looking good. Go AI, keep, oh nice, we actually took a province. The AI took a province. 
without us uh, being involved. At least directly, I mean. Our general's doing a great job. And apparently I reached the end of the episode. So for now, I'll thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time. In the meantime, I'll try to fix whatever sound thing's going on. Hopefully you guys got a good episode and the sound didn't crap out at the end. But uh, I'll only know after it. Just... Anyway, thank you guys for watching. See you next time.